how to free up storage space on a Windows 10 PC or laptop. Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Windows tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you some really easy steps that will help free up disk space on your Windows 10 computer. And then in this tutorial, I'm not just going to show you how to clear temporary folders or cache. I'm going to show you how to delete a system file that you probably don't even need on your computer. It will save you gigabytes of storage space. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribing to my channel because that really helps me out. So we're going to start by deleting cache and temporary files on our computer. We can easily do that by going down to the Windows Start button down here, right clicking it and selecting Settings. Once you get into the settings here, go up to the search bar and just type Storage. And we just want to select Storage Settings right here. This will bring us to storage within the settings and we'll see our Windows C drive right here. And in this list, you can go ahead and show more categories if you want to, just to see what else is here. But in this list, we just need to select temporary files. It'll go through and search your computer for any cache files or temporary files that it recommends deleting. Once the list loads, you can see all the different areas where it's going to delete files for you, such as cache or temporary files that it is going to delete for you. And by default, it won't check all of these locations for you. So what I recommend doing is going through this list and anything that's not checked, looking at it and seeing if it's something that you're fine with deleting. Something like the recycling bin, I'm already trashing those files anyway, so I definitely wanna check that. The only one that I may be not delete through this method is going to be the downloads folder, just because you can open that up on your own and delete those files manually pretty easily. So I'm gonna leave that unchecked. Once you're ready to delete these files, and as you can see, I'm gonna save 12 gigabytes right here. Go ahead and select remove files. It'll purge those and open up a lot of storage space on your computer. Once it's done, it'll say finish temporary file cleanup. We can then go up into the top left, select the back button in the settings. Next within the storage area, I recommend going to apps and features. Looking through the apps, you can sort them by size. And if there's anything pretty large that you don't want on your computer, you can just select it and then select uninstall. And that'll save you a good amount of storage space there. And after that, let's go back in the settings to the storage settings here. And the next thing we're going to look at is system and reserve. And this is where we can really save some space on our disk. So select system and reserve. And when we scroll down, we'll see hibernation file. And for me, this takes up 12.7 gigabytes. And the hibernation file is only used when you put your computer in hibernation state. So if you shut down or put your computer to sleep, those states do not use the hibernation file. It's just for when it's in the hibernated state. And most people do not even use this state. As you can see, if I go to where I shut down my computer, it doesn't even have hibernation as an option. So what I'm going to show you is how to remove this file completely. And it's actually really easy. So to remove it, all we need to do is go down to the Windows Start button right here, select the Start button and type CMD. Under Best Match, you should see Command Prompt. Go ahead and right click that and select Run as Administrator. And now all we need to type is one line and check the description. I'll have it down there so you can just copy that and paste it. Type Power CFG space hyphen H space off right there. Hit enter on your keyboard. And then that's all we need to do. We can close out a command prompt now and we can close the settings. And when we open those back up, it'll refresh the actual storage space here. And as you can see, when I select system and reserved, there is no hibernation file here. So that saved me 12 gigabytes of storage space on my computer, which is Pretty significant if you ask me. And if after disabling the hibernation file, you're still seeing it in here, reboot your computer. And then when you check after you're rebooting, it'll be gone. All right, so that's how you save storage space on a Windows 10 PC or laptop. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Windows 10 tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.